I'll make it in the video. All right. <clears throat> I am Bruce V6XTC and today I want to show you this radio I bought. It's the Baofeng P52UV. When I uh, tried to find videos about it on YouTube I couldn't find any so I thought I'd make my own. This is a, um, a budget priced little radio for amateur use. <clears throat> Some models can actually be used for um, business or whatever because they are tuned to business frequency. Some of them will actually transmit on those, so that's no good. It's not really allowed. <clears throat> anyway, the radio comes, of course, with the antenna, little uh, rubber duck thing, and this little hand strap. Some people call it a wrist strap, but I think of it as a hand strap so I can use it easy. <clears throat> One thing I really like about this radio is when you turn it on. Channel mode. It actually speaks the, um, the various keys, like uh, if I push this. Menu. And then you can go play with the keys. It's got all the uh, numbers on there and you can look them up in the radio or if you want to get out just press that. <clears throat> this is a 5 watt radio supposedly anyway. <clears throat> you need a better antenna though than this little uh, whip antenna. And uh, it has a rather peculiar um, way of connecting to the computer through this little thingy here on the side. You have to unscrew it and then connect the um, cable to the computer. And unfortunately you have to use a different um, firmware than the model of the radio. It's a, if I remember correct, it's a P82 WP or is it U82? It's U82 WP. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> anyway, this is um, a radio that will work with the Chirp program and I should show you too that you can unscrew the antenna, this rubber duck thing, <clears throat> and there's um, a little socket that you can connect uh, an adapter to and put it on a, a larger antenna such as a J-pole or a um, actual rooftop antenna. So I'll just screw this back on because I want to show you the neat thing that happens with the backlight. When it transmits uh, the, the dial will glow red and when it's uh, in between it turns purple and if I can find that uh, little control here it turns blue. <clears throat> now you can adjust these colors to whatever you like or have them all the same color. That's pretty cool too. And if you don't like the voice you can always turn it off and if you don't like the beeps it makes like this um, you can also turn that function off. So it's quite flexible as far as people um, and their various tastes. <clears throat> but chip is, chirp rather, is hard to program, I find, because it's not all that intuitive. But it can be done. And of course you have to do things like first read the radio, that is to download to your computer with the radio uh, needs and then program it yourself and then upload it. Now <clears throat> I have here the little cradle doohickey that you can charge it with and it comes with this little wall ward thingamabob. The thing I like about this is that it will um, it will light up. Let's see if I can get it plugged in here on the end of 
the plug. And let's get it in there. Oh, I have it sideways. No wonder. <laughs> That's neat too. It's got a um, little light deal and you plug it in and look at this. It, uh, it lets you know that it's plugged in and as soon as you put the radio where did I put it? <clears throat> so you have to you can put the radio into the uh, little cradle thing. Whoops. Works better this way. <clears throat> There's a little uh, thing on there that uh, will charge the, uh, the radio. So there you go, it's charging. <clears throat> and you can have the radio on while it's charging, but the red light won't turn green. But if you turn the radio off, the light will eventually turn green. So that's pretty neat. It's a budget radio too, which I like a lot. And this is a real good radio for new hams because it's only $49 Canadian or I think it's $25 in America. It also comes, let's turn it on. Channel mode. Oh, you can also put it into frequency mode if you want to do, you know, anyway. It also has a nice handy flashlight and this little strobe thing if you want to uh, indicate that you're in trouble. There's a silly siren thing on here too but I won't bother with it because it, uh, it's just silly. <clears throat> it's got a good um, 2800 I believe it is milliamp battery. And power battery so it, it holds its charge for a while anyway so that's it I will leave all the technical details to the manual or whatever you can figure things out on YouTube but I'm just introducing you folks to this nifty little radio 73 V6 XTC